Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Spin Tires Mudrunner American Wilds. Now we are on the map Mount Longmore in this episode and I have never been on this map before. This is my first time playing through this map so I'm very very excited to give it a go and see what it's like really. So we're going to put the bumper, light bar, repair supplies, roof trunk, spare wheel, everything on the K5 Blazer and set out exploring. Now, I've heard, or well, I feel like there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff on this map, especially compared to the previous map. So I'm really excited to see what all that stuff is. Um, but I'm also excited to see some of the other vehicles that we're going to get access to on this map. So there should, there should be a lot of interesting stuff uh, to play around with. Now, right out of the gate, I'm kind of, you know, just kind of figuring my way around, trying to get my bearings on the map. I want to start getting watch points unlocked because that's one of the first things I like to do with a good scout vehicle like this one. And I'm going to try and check the map because, let's see. Mm. K8400 skitter down here. Log station, Chevy Bison. Oh, there's another Chevy Bison. Oh, okay, I see. Scavenge points. And then there's a couple watch points over here. Ford F-150. Ford F-150, and then I'm sure there's a lot of hidden stuff out here amongst all, all of those other, uh, all of those other things. So, looks a little swampy down here. I might actually recover to the garage and go back the other way because it seems to me like I should have gone left. I went right and I should have gone left. It looks like, like if we want to get watch points unlocked, we definitely, like, left is the way to go. So let's see. We got another Chevy Bison to unlock over here. And this one looks like it has... Yeah, it's got the utility attachment, which will be really helpful. Or should be really helpful. Let's see if we can climb over this guardrail. We should be able to. We're in a K5. I was about to say, are you serious? There's trees everywhere, bro. We need a winch point. Like, you are not going to sit there and tell me that there is no reachable winch points with trees all around me. Like, come on. So, let's see. What is this? End County Maintained Road. Oh, boy. That means it's going to be... That means it's going to be a little sketchy. So, where's the nearest watch point? Nearest watch point is going to be pretty much... Well, there's one ahead and then there's one to the left. And the one ahead looks like it's a little closer, but I don't know which one is actually closer. They look pretty equally close, so we're going to go with the one that's, like, ahead of us. And getting a little muddy right here. Nothing too crazy, though. Nothing like nothing that we can't deal with or anything. Just looks a little bit on the tricky side. So, let's see. Truck entrance. That wouldn't be where we... Well? That could be how you get to that, uh, how you get to that watch point. I'm not sure, though. I think I'm going to take the main... Yeah, I think I'm going to take the main road to get there and see if the main road uh, gets me at least a little closer to it than the side road would. Because sometimes that's how it works, and sometimes it isn't. Oh, look at this little town. That's cool. That's so cool. All right, we're going to get out of the main... What looks like the main road. Or a main road, I should say. Wherever the... Oh, we got like a double bridge thing going on. That's cool. Oh, that's where that watch point is. Yep, that's, that's cool. That is interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to make our way out into the middle of this swampy lake. I'm just going to go wherever there's grass. We'll do it in, like, low two. Just be easy, easy, easy. Yeah, we should be able to get out there just fine. I mean, it's just... It's slowly, slowly floating through... No issues at well, no issues at all yet. Fingers crossed. Um, but keeping up with everything in oh, there we go. Just trying to keep up with. Yeah, going into high will probably not help us, but yeah, I wanted to try it just to try it, just to you know, just to just to try it. Don't worry about it, just to try it. So we can get just a little bit further along, and then and then that should be boom. All right, so that is our first watch point done and unlocked. There's a log station out here. There isn't really too much else. Uh, there's nothing crazy really. Um, oh god, I did not want to be in reverse. That was not my intention. Not my intention at all. 
Let's see if we can go... Eh, there's really no way to avoid the mud here. I mean, you kind of have to go through the swampy stuff regardless. Like, whether or not you go through the mud or through the reeds, it's still going to be swampy. So you're going to have to... It's going to have to be a slow go no matter what. Easier way out of it. Easier way out of it. There we go. I'm already loving the scenery on this map, though. Like, this scenery is, like, the last map, but, like, turned up. It's so cool. Fortunately, we're about to get out of this mud and muck. There we go. No more of that to think about. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go into... We're gonna go into high and just let it go from there. No big deal. So I'm thinking the best... Uh, I was going to say best course of action. There we go. Best course of action is going to be to avoid the mud. <laughs> is that a freight liner out there? Looks like a freight liner. I believe it is, yeah. Alright, well we can turn diff lock and all-wheel drive off since we're chilling out on the pavement right now. Freightliner FLD, Western Star. Okay, sweet. One with... Wow, one, the Freightliner's got a long log trailer, and the um, the Western Star has, like, a log carriage. So they're already outfitted and ready to go. So we could technically start logging now if we really wanted to. Like, we could just go for it and log right now. I just really want to get, like, at least some of the rest of these uh, watch points unlocked before we do that. And I want to kind of be able to scout the map out and actually see it. You know what I mean? Because that's, like... That's half the fun of these maps, is really getting to explore and see everything. Are you kidding me? It was weird. It didn't want to go into high. That was really odd. Go, 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 go! Jeez, go! Oh my god, that thing was bogging. It was bogging really bad, too. Oh no, ah, uh, it goes right back to first. Man, there's a lot of, like, soft areas for this being pavement. Like, I'm surprised. I'm trying to avoid them if you can. Oh, God. Yep. We're gonna... Oh, no! Why is it stopping? It's like it's getting hung up. Regardless, yeah, we're just gonna do high, diff lock, all-wheel drive, and floor it. That's, that's gonna be the move here. We are... Oh, there's the tower, so the watch point must be, like, right next to it. I'm just gonna ease my way up over this hill. I don't want to flip my scout vehicle. There's that. So, so far, these watch points have been pretty simple to grab. Alright, so our next watch point is literally right down the road. Like, actually, literally, we just have to back up onto the road, go a little bit farther down the road, and then, boom, that watch point should be ours. And I would like to point out that we also have zero damage right now. Which I think is actually pretty impressive. Wow, this thing, when you put it in high, like right out of first, it jumps. Like, it, it really jumps up out of the hole. That's awesome. Go, 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 go. Come on, easy. Easy. It's like, it's like it just starts to sink in some of these areas that get a little bit, like, a little bit of extra mud. In a minute, I'm going to check the map to make sure that we haven't, like, you know, that we haven't done anything. Oh, wow, okay. So we have to make sure it's, like, the map is, like, telling us it's, like, it's, like, hey, pay attention. <laughs> like, it's, like, hey, pay attention. What are you doing? Just keep an eye out for that watchtower. That watchtower will tell us everything we need to know. Everything being where the... Meaning where the watch point is. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a river down there. That's cool. Oh, God. We passed it. Oh, boy. It's up there. Oh, that's gonna be weird. That's gonna be sketchy, too. Yeah, that's going to be sketchy, so I'm going to go back to the other side of this little bridge and then try to attack it from there. Um. Oh, it's literally right there. Holy crap. All right. Put it in high and get up the hill. Are you really? Are you going to spin here? Are you really? 
Oh my god, come on. I'll take a little bit of winch action then. Wonder how the F-150 would do up that hill. Oh, pull, come on, come on, come on, come on. That should not be hard. That should not be hard for this thing. It genuinely shouldn't be hard. Alright, so... Release. Pull this way. Let's ease it up. Now that we're on these rocks, it should be a lot grippier. So there is sort of a trail that leads back here, but not really. Alright, so we got another garage, a fuel station. We really only have one more watch point to grab. So I think... Oh, God. Like, we're gonna go run over there and grab it real quick, because that'll be, that'll be simple, as long as it's not, like, out in the middle of a mud hole or something, or a swamp, it should be fairly simple to grab that watch point. First order of business, though, is getting back on the main road. Easy. There it is. Oh, God. No! No, 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 no. Okay. And 150. Ah, uh, you know what? The, the rest of my points, I'm just going to save them just in case something catastrophic happens. Just in case. Do we need fuel? Eh, not really. No, we're good on fuel right now. This thing is quick, though. Like, with everything off, like, it's quick. I like it. Is at least definitely quick enough. All right, so Bradley Lumber Company just kind of marking the location of the lumber mill. Uh, we could swap over to the F-150 if we wanted, but I think I'm going to just stick with the K-5 for the rest of this because I really want to get that last watch point. And we're, like, we're pretty much on our way to it right now. Oh, God, no trespassing. Got it. Won't trespass. Okay. The easy. Uh-oh. Ugh. This map's cool, though. Like, it's definitely a lot more varied than the other map. The other map felt very, like... Um, it, it was almost like it was based around kind of, like, the same, you know, structure. But this one definitely feels a lot more, like, fleshed out. Oh, my God, this is a high bridge. I think that's, like, probably the highest bridge that there ever that there's ever been in, like, a factory spin tires map. Like, that's... Oh, I see the watch point. I see the watch point. We're about to go grab this watch point. Easy. Come on. Oh, yes. Just drive over the trees. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Up the hill. Don't worry about it. This thing is capable, dude. Easily. Oh, my God. Look at it go. It's like a little... It's, it's literally like a freaking mountain goat the way it climbs these hills. And boom. All right. So, now... That is literally all of the watch points done on Mount Longmore. That, and that was not difficult at all. But this map, I can already tell you, is a lot more interesting um, than the previous map, in my personal opinion. But if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Mount Longmore in Spintar's Mother American Wilds, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it or if you have any suggestions. And if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to come back for the beginning of our logging journey now that we've fully explored the map.